Hundreds of thousands of travelers are stranded across the world after British tour company Thomas Cook collapsed, immediately halting almost all of its flights and hotel services and laying off all its employees. Bill Neely, Bill Neely reports from London. Vacation over, airline bust. At dozens of airports for tens of thousands of tourists today, frustration. I'm very anxious because I have a sore leg. Nightmare. Nightmare stressed. To get them home, a huge airlift back to Britain with a military name, Operation Matterhorn, covering 64 routes. Thomas Cook's own planes are grounded, impounded because it ran out of money. This, its final flight after decades. For some, it's the end of a different dream. This couple's honeymoon ruined. We're absolutely gutted. We've looked forward to this for a long time. And so many like them. We've been saving up for a year for this holiday, you know what I mean? And we've paid all our money, we've paid all the insurance. It's a business collapse affecting hotels, airlines, suppliers, as well as the tourists. It is deeply distressing to me that it has not been possible to save one of the most loved brands in travel.